But I go on YouTube Nation. Me man, Mr. B. And as the days roll by, it's getting closer and closer. The Issa Grace Kennedy sponsored championships, boys and girls athletics championships. Of course, this will be held as usual at the office, the National Stadium in Kingston, Jamaica. And you know, no matter unless you're under a rock, you would know that this is the biggest age group athletic meet for youngsters anywhere in the world. And we in Jamaica is responsible for putting that on. Champs turn 113 years old this year, with a, maybe the exception of just a, maybe three or four years out of that 113 years that Champs has always been held. And of course, like everybody else, if you have a school that you had been to who were participating in athletics, or you just like certain schools, everybody out there, a cheer for them school. Me, I'm a KC man, I'm afraid to tell you that. But um, and KC accomplished the, their 33rd champs victory last year and is looking for their 34th, which is the, the project, it's aptly titled at North Street, Project 34. Having said that though, without the input of the other schools, it, it would be nothing. And uh, you know, Calabar has been a very solid, dependable, very fierce rival over the years. Um, that the, the same applies to Jamaica College, who won champs the previous year. Um, KC just simply took back the trophy, back to where they, you know, as a KC man, we like to say it belonged down on North Street. Um, but be that as it may, we're looking forward to the competition. I'm watching the development meets over the past couple of months and you can see that Jamaica has an embarrassment of riches in terms of the athletic talents of our youngsters um, mind you only a handful of these youngsters will go on to perhaps national duties certainly at the senior level in fact as we speak the Carifta trials are now on and um, collectives of these youngsters are putting their best efforts out there to try to represent their, their, their schools and their families to do well. Um, of course, again, part of the participation at Champs, even if you're not able to make it into a national team, is that, you know, good, excellent performances uh, allows some of these athletes to pick up scholarships to go on to do uh, academic studies overseas and improve their life chances. There was a time when, you know, I, I for one kind of questioned the kind of costs associated with champs, you know, based on the monies that a lot of schools spend to prepare their teams. Um, some schools, the top, I'm, I'm told the top five schools in, at champs spends in excess of a billion and a half dollars on team preparation, um, gears, etc. You know, training, food, medical costs, and so on. It's a lot of money, and um, when one considers that, only about less than ten percent of the athletes who actually turn up for champs will eventually make it into any kind of national team program. One has to wonder you know about the the return and the investment but the fact is it is a conduit for our youngsters to move forward some who have the natural abilities will perhaps make it into the national teams and we have seen you know where other athletes have done well they have laid that foundation and, and shown the way that you know you can make a career out of Athletics. We see where the, the Clayton twins, among a, a number of other youngsters, have opted not to continue um, into their secondary school education, going on to Sixth Farm, etc. And um, just, you know, immediately uh, following Champs last year, a lot of these um, youngsters decided to go professional. Um, you know, what are your thoughts on that? Me, I, I do believe 
that if you have the ability and that is where you want to go that's where you should go you're you the, the average athlete only have maybe a good four to six years where they are going to be able to operate at the highest level after that it is diminishing return we can use usain bolt as an example bolt broke the world record at age what was that 2021 and he never ran any faster after that um so we want to take a, a a good look at stuff like that you know the, those factors as we contemplate you know the, the the decisions that some of these youngsters making but one thing is clear is that track and field is a big part of the life of any youngster in jamaica and the opportunities that are present um want to just get your own feedback i have my favorite as a kc man may i carry kc for a 34th championship who you are carry what are your your thoughts on you know the projected winners for champs for the coming year both on the boys and the girls side who is your team what kind of points differential are we looking at and then we want to look at some of the stars we see some glimpse glimpses of significant talent coming out of the development meet there's a little guy there from kc um can't remember his name, african name Boagre or something like that who i saw him literally blow away left the field in a hundred meters um at the the Karifta trials now on the way at the na national um, stadium um you know who are the stars that you are pushing um is it gonna be kc jc Will Calabar find the, the, the ammunition to make a significant challenge this year? And will Heidel um, finally register themselves in the winning column um, over their arch rivals and former uh, well, defending champions, Edwin Allen? Give me your feedback. Let me hear what you think. Let me see your comment, your feedback in the comment section. And if you haven't uh, done so as yet, yeah man, subscribe to the channel. Make we have some solid discussions. Make we get to know each other. Let me get your feedback. And if you do like the video, hit the like button and feel free to share with your friends and associates. Alright, I look forward to hearing from you. Mima, Mr. B.